So today I'm going to talk to you about this on wall here, which is my wall of QSL cards. And I'm going to explain because some of these have great significance in terms of things I've done in amateur radio and also some dear friends. So let me tell you, first of all, that all of these I've accumulated over the years and nearly all of them I've actually had a QSO with, but some I'll explain. So this one on the top left here is a contact from a D expedition to Lesotho, uh, seven Papa, eight Charlie. And I just thought it would be cool to have one from Africa. At least this is my friend, Sam KC2 OSR. You can see, I did a video with his drone. Um, well with his antenna droning around his antenna and, um, it's pretty nice. This one here actually is pretty interesting. Actually, this one was kind of like a new contact, a new state for me on 160. This was in Connecticut. This was when I was first getting into 160 meters. This next one is another D expedition from uh, a nine golf five X-ray, which is in Ghana. This one is from Western Sahara. I actually, um, uh, I, I made a number of contacts with them. So um, I actually put this QSL car up. This one here is Marty Lane. So those of you who are DXers know who Marty Lane is. And Marty Lane is perhaps one of the most famous D expeditioners. So what he does is he goes to a number of different countries and he makes contacts there and puts those countries on the air and not only countries, but also, um, DX entities, which would be like rocks and reefs and political entities. I actually saw him last at the United nations where we were operating for you one UN, which is what you see in my Twitter profile. Okay. Next one over here, WB six ODR. <laughs> I actually got this one. I believe this one was on six meters. Um, but he actually, uh, he, he kind of like said, well, this is the last one of his old QSL design. So I thought it was kind of cool to put up here to see the Statue of Liberty. Kind of strange for a six land station, right? Especially one in Arizona, all sorts of, of different things going on here. This one here is a, from a famous ham cartoonist. This one is from Jeff K one NSS. You see he here, he's, he, he made a cartoon caricature of himself and to write is a fictional character called dash. So dash is like a, um, you know, a dog <laughs> that he has in some of his cartoons. And in 2017, we, he went out and he made some contacts. So he made a special QSL for that. This one is from, uh, from Canada. I just, you know, thought this was a cool design. This one here is a friend and you see, she said her first QSO in HF. So this is Leah, Leah Ose. Uh, she's in Oklahoma. She's one of, she's a YL, good YLRL, good YL friend of mine. And I put this up because it was her first QSO on HF. This one here, Erwin from Indonesia, actually my first contact with Indonesia on 30 meters. And it was really nice to make that contact. So Erwin, um, I put Erwin's card up there. KP four SX in Puerto Rico. And I know him from QRZ.com. So I kind of figured I'll put his card up there here on the right hand side. You can actually see my DXCC pin. If you ever achieve DXCC, you get that one. This one, Minicoy Island in, um, Lakshadweep Islands in India. So yeah, this one is special because this one, they, they this one is not your typical D expedition. Okay. These were a bunch of Indian guys. These were not like a bunch of like, you know, foreigners who went to India and figured that we're going to put on the expedition. This was a purely born and bred local D expedition in India. Right. And they went for a lighthouse weekend and then they took, I think they took largely public transportation to get there. Okay. And they took a boat and, um, they made contact with, I think about 300 stations, very few in North America. And I was one of the few in North America. So I put this up there. 5T5. Okay. Mauritania. I worked this one on 160. My, you know, DXing is competitive and I kind of put this up here as a trophy because 
A lot of my friends in New Jersey and the surrounding area could not make contact with Mauritania. So I put this up there. Myanmar, XC1Z. So this was Zoro. He actually um, put this up here. This was kind of um, interesting. I waited so long for Zoro to actually come up. And then there was a lot of people interfering too. But I made this contact. It was so tough. So this deserved a special place. This here is Ingrid. She did National Parks in the Air. She was a top activator in National Parks in the Air. And um, I felt she deserved a place on the wall. Tomotu Province. This, I thought this was an interesting card. And I put this up there as well. You know, this was another D expedition. Mali. And I, I love this painting. Mali at War and Peace. Really interesting. But Mali, you know, I worked them on a lot of bands. So I, I, I really found this special. I think I'd worked them on either 6 or 160. Next here we have ON4UN. Boy, do I have a lot of cards from ON4UN. Because every time we made contact, we... <laughs> He would kind of send a card through the bureau. So I have maybe two dozen cards from him and he sent one. It was always nice to work John on the air. What a gentleman and his knowledge, his technical knowledge. You know, I like to share my technical knowledge on this channel, as you know, but um, John, John wrote books and all this kind of stuff. Um, this is DF7ZS. He, um, he's a very uh, interesting guy, friend on Facebook as well, too. DK2YL, see, she's also another German radio amateur. This is Andrea, K2EZ, and Andrea is very interesting. Andrea, actually, she lives not far from here, and she owns that awesome big rover vehicle, and this is one of her roves, so, you know, she sent this card to me. We made several contacts. Eric Nichols. Oh my God, KL7AJ. Eric is, is a real radio mensch, okay? This guy knows a lot of things and he even worked on some projects in Alaska, the harp and other things. I had to put his card up there. Um, this person here, WB2ONZ, he is involved with the Civil Air Patrol and um, I found it really nice, you know, I wanted to get his, um, you know, his, his card up there. I got this one from Prince Edward Island. Really nice. You know, I think this was one of my early QSL cards. So this one is Christian Kudnick, K0STH. He is the curator and the originator and founder of 100 Watts on a Wire, which is a podcast and a YouTube channel, which he um, owns. He's a good friend of mine. I've been a regular part of his um, circle for a while now. I've actually been a contributor to 100 Watts on a Wire a few times, um, both video and audio. So he runs a podcast and he runs a Discord, so you could check him out. This is another YL friend, Anne. Um, she's in YLRL. I met her up at the um, uh, the YLRL convention in Oklahoma City, and she's she's really nice. Another one from Andrea. This one deserved a special a second go around because this one she photoshopped her. Um, car on on the on the moon saying it's a national park <laughs> this is during the height of parks in here this is ka0xtt tim allen this one i actually got this one from john amadeo when i was at um the studio city in california working the last man standing station and this final one is from my elmer my longtime elmer tony Liebach, 9 y4 alpha lima and um I had to put him here as well too. He will be missed. This is his original QSL card. You could tell it was printed by a local printery in Trinidad and Tobago. And, you know, Mohan's printery printed using old style um, movable type printing. Really interesting. This might have been printed back in the 70s or 80s, to be honest. So, all right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief little tour. Thank you. Peace and 73s.